to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free This is going to be a really interesting episode. This is probably going to be one of my favorite episodes. All right. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> oh, you already read the title. Well, after many years of traveling and going to a lot of good restaurants with excellent food and lots of pie, we decided to do this episode and it was at the recommendation of many of our followers who have emailed us and sent us private messages and said, you need a video of all the places that you've had the best pie at. Mm -hmm. So grab your coffee or your hot tea or your favorite drink and get ready for a sweet episode. Let's start in the East Coast. Okay. And we'll just work our way, zigzagging our way over to the West Coast. How's that sound? Sounds good? Okay, they said that sounds great. Okay. So, <laughs> should we start at the top? How about Ellsworth? Close to Bar Harbor. Remember the Union Pot? What was it? Union? Union Lobster Pot? Union Lobster Pot. That's the place. She won't forget that place. <laughs> they had the best blueberry pie. Maine blueberries. Little, tiny, sweet blueberries. Excellent. If you've never had Maine blueberries, they're a very sweet little blueberry. I love the little blueberries. They're teeny tiny. You want to see it go down your esophagus. That was the best blueberry pie I think I've ever had. It's definitely at least a nine. Really? Oh my goodness. It was nine and a half. In our next stop is going to take us to Hudson's Seafood House on the docks on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. Choice to sit in here or you could sit outside. Miss Bessie's peanut butter pie. And Miss Bessie is the one that makes all of their desserts. She's worked here since 1974. Miss Bessie. She's my kind of girl. Mmm. Very good. Is it? Mm hmm. And. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. That good? Mm -hmm. Holy cow, I'm getting some of this. Our next stop takes us to Mount Airy, North Carolina, where we go into Miss Angel's Heavenly Pies. And they also had a gluten-free shop right oh, next door. Very convenient. It was a whole bake shop that was all gluten-free. But in the pie shop, they had these little mini pies. We tried a, a variety right. of pies. <laughs> Uh, this was a peach, and this was pecan with moonshine. I think it's called moonshine pecan. Possibly. Actually, no, actually, she called that one white trash. <laughs> she did. That's good. Ooh, look at that peach. Oh, and she did say that these fruits are right from their orchard. It's perfect in a little baggie, because we ain't eating them all tonight. All right. All right, time to get drunk on this pie. Moonshine. Spoken like a true Southern. <laughs> er. And yes, we're sticking to pecan, not pecan, <laughs> not pecan, nope, pecan. Holy cow. What? You can definitely taste the... Bourbon? I mean the, the... alcohol. Seriously? Let me have a bite. What'd you think? What was your favorite? Well, I think that... Apple crumb and the peach are a tie for me. I think they're both like a nine, and the crust on both of them was excellent. Really? So that really <laughs> makes the pie as well. Mm -hmm. I didn't really care for the moonshine pecan. So where are we going next? We're going to Dillsboro, North Carolina. <laughs> Technically, this isn't a pie, but I had to put it in here because it was so amazing. 
She did it again. This is pecan cobbler. They used to have pecan pie and they switched to the cobbler. Okay. I'm in heaven. Really? That good? Well, just think of a pecan pie and have it all the best parts of a pecan pie. What? <laughs> is right in here. The waitress told us that they did away with their pie and they have the cobbler now. But when we got it, you could tell it was basically a pie all mushed up. You yeah. Like they basically took their pie that they used to do and turned it into a cobbler. But it was so good. I, we had mm -hmm. to include it. <laughs> Next takes us to Atlantic Beach, Florida, where we go to Pie Heaven Bakery and Cafe. And I try another variety of pies. Mm -hmm. This is the chocolate, the country oh, chocolate. Oh, yeah, okay, that's right. I, mean, I was going to say, where's the pecan? <laughs> We're going to get a pecan, a key lime pie, and a main blueberry. And that's bourbon pecan. Bur oh. oh, I don't want to mess up. Okay. And the right. little uh, oh, from leftover so pie crust that right oh, reminds me my mom used to do that as well. <laughs> she used to make those yeah. too? They have gluten-free pie here. Um, today it's Scared pumpkin. <laughs> and it was a whole pie. Yes, it was a the whole freezer, pie. So I could do that. <laughs> Which one do you want to try? The Let's go for the blueberry. Alright, go for it. That's definitely sweet like I remember in Maine. Very good. Are we going to go ahead and just sample a few of the others too? That's dangerous. That's mm. good. You bring the comfort like nobody can. I know. I, I hear you whisper, life has only just begun. This is like perfect. Very, the perfect blend, yeah. That's very good. Full of pie and <laughs> coffee, and that those were so good. Were they? Okay, yes. I was going to say, you weren't just being nice since we were right in front no, of them. No, no. It would be hard to rate a pie when the person that made them <laughs> is right there. <laughs> they live up to the hype, um, yeah. and the rumors that we have heard that they were really good. Very, yeah. very good. Yeah. All of them that we tried. <laughs> yeah. That key lime. That, yeah. I've, I've about had enough key lime. You know, yeah. you stay here in the winter in the Florida. I was like, uh, by the end of the winter, I'm done with key lime. I enjoy but key lime more than she does. That, it was very good because I, I don't like the real tart kind, and that was a perfect blend. Perfect blend. So yeah, key lime very, is definitely very good. very good. The sweet blueberry, good. Who doesn't like a bourbon pecan? Oh man. And then the uh, cho country chocolate. Very good, very good. Myself, I like the key lime and the bourbon. Pecan. Yeah, the bourbon pecan. I, I, I'm just thinking of the bourbon. <laughs> Pe oh yes, the pecans. Next we go to Yoder's Restaurant in Amish Village in Sarasota, Florida. Remember that one? I do remember that one. You know why I remember that why one? Why do you remember that one? Because it had an amazing strawberry pie that was gluten free. Oh my gosh, that was really good. Yeah. And you had the coconut, right? Coconut cream pie. Kind of was all smooshed in the uh, little container because yeah. we took it out to eat. But Didn't have the, the pie van. shape. Neither one of them did. They were yeah. just like, like they melted into the but oh, they were good still taste was very good it was so close to my number one which we won't say yet so <laughs> close but still very very good and then our next stop is a more recent stop where we go to blonde giraffe key lime pie factory in tavernier florida <laughs> This is where we have what? Key lime pie. No key. Put a little cookie on the coffee. Yeah, isn't that cute? Probably key lime, I'm sure. I'm sure. This is pretty. Key lime chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's got chocolate on top. That looks really good. And they have the gluten-free one. They come crustless and it comes frozen. She said leave it out for a couple minutes and it'll thaw. Even the little cookie was good. <laughs> the test. This is probably the best key lime pie I've had. Wow. That was the best key lime pie I think I've had. Ever? I think so. It was pretty good. It was very good. Um, the one that I got with the chocolate drizzle, uh, that was, the chocolate was good, but it's the key lime that was the best, the 
The filling was so creamy. And speaking of key lime pie, we have another place called Andrea's Key Lime Pies in Niceville, Florida. Almost five slices get the six degree. Yeah, they knew you were coming. Apple, red velvet, cheesecake. Oh, there's your coconut cream. They have a gluten-free one. It's peanut butter, and they also have a gluten-free key lime. They had cookies, but they had gluten-free cookies, too, that were very good. I This is a really good stop for multiple different pies. Their pies are all pretty darn good. We have... <laughs> is 5-5 five five get the sixth free? I'm giving this key lime definitely a nine. Yeah, I would agree. I don't like them very tart. That's just about right. It's, that is it's just tart. about right. All right, let's try that coconut cream. Oh, okay. All right, that's close. Those are they slivered. Might eat it. Oh, is that slivered almonds or coconut? Hmm. Mm, that's a solid nine too. Yeah, I was gonna say a nine yeah. also. Pretty solid good. nine. So, if you come to Niceville, go to Andrea's Key Lime Pies. Don't let the name fool you because she's got tons of other pies mm -hmm. in there. I mean, oh, a mess yeah. of them. Well, we got six different And we pies. got a mess of them in our fridge. Yeah. <laughs> our next stop takes us to Branson, Missouri at... Cantina Laredo. Thank you. Mexican <laughs> apple pie. Is your birthday? No. <laughs> it's just an average day. Yeah. yeah. It's in brand, uh, brandy butter and cinnamon ice cream. I think I can like that. I know. <laughs> yeah, right? Mmm. <laughs> good, huh? Very good. Then the next stop is at a place that you wouldn't think to go to, but it's right outside Glacier National Park. And it's a cafe called West Glacier Cafe. Now, that was a big surprise at a place like that. It's, yeah, Glacier National Park. In Montana. That was kind of the entrance there for, oh, oh what was it, the... Um, oh, the, going to the Sun Road. Yes, Yeah. going to the Sun Road. So we sat there and worked all day. We actually put our our uh, satellite, di or Starlink, we put it, I point here because it's up here. <laughs> our Starlink out that day and work there mm -hmm. um, in their parking lot area sort of for the whole place. And uh, yeah, what did you have there? I had huckleberry cream pie and wow, it was amazing. This was a huckleberry cream. For lunch. <laughs> mm. Oh, I haven't seen you make that look for a long time. That's good. She said it's made with vanilla cream, so it really makes it a lot more sweeter than the regular huckleberry. And now that we're still zigzagging, we're going down to Albuquerque, New Mexico to Range Cafe, where I have probably the second favorite to date pie that <laughs> I've date. ever had. Their chocolate coconut cream pie. Because oh. of course, chocolate and coconut cream they have a few locations around the uh, Albuquerque area, and this is one of their newer locations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really that good, huh? <laughs> She's like, quiet, let me have this moment. This is very good. I think so, I might have to try it. Nine and a half. I'll try not to get the crust, because you can't have the crust. That's pretty good. Now we're going to go to Williams, Arizona to Pine Country Restaurant. And they had a bevy selection of pies. And you had a gluten-free one. Yes, I did. I think it was a chocolate pie. It was pretty mm. good. It, I don't know. I'd probably, I don't even know if I rated it then, but it was probably a seven. It, it wasn't near as good as yours. Yeah, I had a coconut cream pie. Very thick, by the way. Uh, and it was good. It was, again, not quite there to my number one favorite. It's so pretty. And guess what? They have gluten-free pie. I'm happy. Stay away. It's very good. I'd say it's right up there. Our next stop takes us to South Padre Island. This was in an Texas. unusual place. Yeah, in Texas, of course. 
Where, where, what other South Padre Island know. do you know? Some people might not know where that's at. <laughs> there probably is one somewhere. But anyway, <laughs> getting back to the pie, um, we went to a little, it was a little strip mall. And remember the name of the place? Yummy's Bistro. They had coconut cream here, which everybody knows, that's my favorite. But um, this particular choice I went with is only available on the weekends. So it must be really good. And it is blueberry banana cream. It looks amazing. <laughs> and it's very good. I don't believe you. Let me try it. Oh, wow. Now we head over to California where we stop at Julian Pie Company. And mm. they actually have two locations one in Julian, we went to the one in Santa Isabel. We got there late in the day and they pretty much had already sold out of like the slices of pie but they said hey go around the corner to like this little um walk up area yeah. where somebody's in the window and um they're selling the whole pies so we're like oh well fine and we get up there there it's a whole pie that you take and bake that's what we didn't know yeah. that's right yeah. and we're like oh these aren't made nope you take and bake them so we, so we did. went 90 miles an hour back to <laughs> by the time we get back to the campground we bake it in our convection oven and it was like 9 it was like at night. yeah late at night but by gosh we're gonna eat that pie mm. it looks awesome smells awesome why want to tell everybody why we're baking a pie so late um well it's it 9 20 p.m yeah so uh it was frozen entirely frozen and they said uh if it's going to be not refrigerated for two hours then you have to cook it like right away <laughs> or bake it right away basically. and you were like okay yeah hmm. and we had an hour drive but we hadn't even had our evening meal yet so we had to stop for that <laughs> And so, needless to say, by the time we got back here, it was over two hours later. So we had to bake it. For our last one, I think everybody knows where it is. Palm Springs, California, or Palm Desert, Sherman's Deli. For the ultimate Bavarian coconut cream pie. I'm drooling as I'm thinking about it. Where's Sherman's Deli? And gosh, it well, took are. off without me. <laughs> Getting excited? I am. <laughs> I have not found a pie to my liking that has beat this one. Oh, I still remember the look on your face when we came back there and you took your first bite. I swear you were getting ready to cry. <laughs> Every time we go there, because we've been there many times. It, and there's been, you know, a long period in between each one. And every time I'm just like, I just, oh, I forget how good it is. I'm like, mm -hmm. I can taste it right now. You would think we were paid to talk about <laughs> Sherman's Deli as much as... I should have stock in We that. need to talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're ever in the Palm Springs area yeah. and you love coconut cream pie or really any dessert because they have multiple desserts. What a... Yeah. You, we suggest that you stop there and try. We've had many people tell us we made it there and we agree. It is the best coconut cream pie. Yes? Uh, um, <laughs> what about that brownie? They had a gluten-free brownie there. I agree. It, that thing was amazing. It's very good. Gluten-free brownie. Which looks awesome. It is very good. And then a drum roll for Bum -bum -da -da. Bavarian coconut cream pie. I always forget how good it is till I have it again. Okay, so it's amazing. So now comparing that to the one you had in in uh, Albuquerque. That one was Cal very good too. But but I still think this might be just a smidge better. I think Maybe so too. Point two five better. Yeah, I've tasted <laughs> them both, and yeah, I agree. They gave you a warm one. I've never had it here. I've always bought one up there to go. Okay. Bam. <laughs> Especially for gluten free. That's a nine. Two happy little piggies right here. <laughs> piggies. And also, uh, as far as their food there, we're going to add this in as a little extra. <laughs> we always get their, what was oh. the, there's two Rubens. There's a deck, 
triple decker or something? They're the stacker is stacker. The, the largest one. It is so you good. You can share. And you can yeah, and you can get it, sorry. You can get it with a toasted gluten-free bread. <laughs> Everybody would prefer gluten-free bread, right? <laughs> But it's actually, it's very good. Yeah. Even with that toasted gluten-free bread, yeah. you can't even tell it's gluten-free. They have our favorite, that's basically good. our favorite Reuben sandwich there yeah. as well. But that's 15. That's, that's our list. Our top favorite pie places across America to date. To date. So We've got a lot more, thankfully, and thank you guys for uh, giving us a, these suggestions because we've got a lot more suggestions of places we need to go. Yes. To make old pie girl here happy. Yep, I know. Yeah. Darn. Yeah. Darn, <laughs> darn, darn. 